meet Mr. J.K. Dadu, a seasoned senior advisor to Fortune 500 MNCs and independent director. With a distinguished career in the Indian Administrative Service, he brings extensive experience from key government roles in defense, commerce, and textiles. Stay tuned as he shares insightful perspectives on AI and recruitment. Let's hear directly from our distinguished guest himself. I'm uh, an MBA from IIM Ahmedabad, 1980 batch. Joined the IAS in 1983. Worked for 35 years intensively in the government in 24 sectors of the economy. And since my superannuation in December 2017, I'm working as an independent consultant and as an independent director in one big company. I've advised about six big companies of India in the last six years. And I also do a bit of uh, government-related work, which has been entrusted to me recently. Let's delve into the essence of artificial intelligence. What exactly is AI? Now, artificial intelligence is something which has had a transformative role and, a meta and, and, and is causing metamorphic shifts since June last year when it came into the social media platforms, uh, when it started coming into the social media platforms. Now, AI is all based about data and mastering of data. Now, it AI can be descriptive where it has minimal value. It can be predictive where it has, again, substantial value, but not as much as if it is prescriptive. As a MasterCard chief said, maximum value of AI comes when it is able to be prescriptive about what should be done. Now, if you look at the international trends in AI, NVIDIA has beaten Microsoft and all other companies to become the largest company in terms of market cap. And NVIDIA is training 50,000 Infosys employees in AI and its responsible use. What is your take on AI and recruitment? On recruitment, there is a lot of possibility in terms of processing large number of applications through AI and shortlisting only those ones which are required to be interviewed or required to be uh, given a formal uh, invite. Secondly, we will have to ensure that there's no data bias because if there's data bias against women or any particular community or caste, then the recruitment process will get jeopardized. Let's discuss some ethical considerations in AI. USA and UK are also setting up AI safety institutes so that they can check any viable or any misuse of AI which can hamper systems in a very large measure. What are some concerns or fears associated with AI? It is the possibility of losing jobs. Now, it is very clear and there is no doubt in anyone's mind today that routine jobs in the future will go whether we like it or not. And therefore, jobs of accountants and, you know, copywriters and things like that will go. But what will never go is creative output. In fact, a lot of people feel that in the media and entertainment sector, even the creative output will be affected. But I frankly don't believe that. Creativity will be enhanced with the use of AI because it can throw inputs and ideas which you can refine and calibrate and create finer output as I try and do in all my LinkedIn posts. I don't use chat GPT at all. I try and create through my own, uh, through my own ideas. Do you have any suggestions or advice to offer regarding AI? Listed in my LinkedIn columns also, to create a video of about an hour in simple language indicating what is AI, how should it be used, who can use it, where it can be used, and how it should not be used. This should be shown openly to the public so that everyone knows about AI and is conversant and vigilant about it. Number two, a large number of companies are still not sure how they can use AI because there aren't any AI and paneled firms of the government which can be tapped 
because otherwise each user of AI has to do due diligence about the AI firm. Let's hear final words from our guest. Pension recruitment in places where the number of applicants are less is better to do manually. But if the applicants run into a few thousands, then it is always better to use AI to filter the applications, get the right shortlisted candidates for either a remote interview or a personal interview. AI is a very powerful tool and I want to end by saying it can either be a darling or a devil. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. J.K. Dadu, for sharing your valuable insights with us today. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and share for more such insightful discussions. Stay tuned for our next episode.